Hi everyone, it's PJJ Boss here. So I basically decided to do a voiceover tutorial video. So as you see, the materials that I will be using is a Prismacolor 24 color pencil set. And the reason why I decided to use that color pencil set is because the character that I will be drawing does not require much variation in terms of color capacity. So as I started off the drawing, I did not use a pencil because given the fact that it is a computerized character, I followed what they had. So in the reference picture, I use a darker shade of yellow as compared to the actual yellow shade of the drawing itself because I wanted it to be used as a form of a highlight. So as you look throughout the video, you will see that I'm using blue to highlight the areas that will be in blue and I begin to apply the color. So I always recommend that you apply the lighter shade of color first. Now the reason for this is that many artists, they tend to apply the darker shades first and then they take an eraser and erase out the areas to make it lighter. Now often that tends to tear your paper. You have a higher chance of ripping. You have a higher chance of degrading the quality of the paper and I would I'd recommend that you don't do it like that. So when you color it lighter first, then you apply the darker shades with the darker color pencils later throughout the drawing because you really want that to pop. You would not believe the difference that it makes when you apply the lighter shades first. Now I know it may not make much sense to some because it would vary on the methods that you use but it's just my little advice for you to help avoid rippage and tearing of your drawing. As an artist myself, I have had experiences in the past where my drawings would have ripped as a result of me applying too much pressure of the eraser trying to lighten up areas that I mistakenly colored dark. Now, throughout the years of learning, I have learned that there is a better method for everything and hence the reason why I am recommending that to you. So this drawing basically took 45 minutes to do. Initially, I thought that it would have taken 5 minutes, but while doing the drawing without a basic sketch, it was a bit harder. What I will do in an upcoming video is that I will do another character, but I will use a basic sketch. So basically we can do a comparison to see, you know, how effective is a basic sketch when you're doing your artwork in terms of drawing of characters. Now in the future, I do intend to do a tutorial video of how I do my portraits. Now the tutorial videos might be way longer because it is so much that goes into doing a portrait you will not believe. And I must say that I truly enjoyed drawing this minion character because it's simple, it's fun, and it just puts a smile on everyone's face. I definitely know that it did. So, as you see, I even draw the smile with the yellow. So now you're seeing that I'm applying the silver lining in terms of the glasses or the goggles that the character is wearing. Now, it is not in perfect shape because as I said, I did not use a basic sketch to guide me. But throughout the doing of this drawing, you would see how the shape comes together and so forth. So in the drawing, I have speeded up just a little bit because I know that you all will not want to sit here for 45 minutes hearing me talk for the very first time for this length of time doing a drawing. Now throughout the video, I will also time lapse it faster so that way you can see the process in a faster light. Don't worry, I will still be chatting with you throughout it let you know what I did. So as you see, I am applying the silver shading on the drawing and it's beginning to come together a little better. I'm applying some 
dark brown shading because in the reference picture that is what was there now I know that the circles are not symmetrical it's not perfect but it's all part of the fun it's all part of doing the drawing so I'm drawing the outline of the eyes and I'm shading a dark layer of brown so you all are free to share the video and also to subscribe and those who are following me on Instagram it's PJJ Boss Art on Facebook my page is called PJJ Boss which is the same name as my channel and the music being used in the background is my original composition So you see that I am adding in more brown to give it that extra popping appearance. So I will try my best to make the video at least about 15 to 20 minutes long. I really don't know if you all will stick with me through it, but I'm trying it a bit different, but don't worry, in the latter part, I will fast forward it so that way it will flow better. I am applying the dark layers in the eyes in terms of the pupils. So in this clip I am playing it in real time and not time lapsing it because I really want you to see the details that goes into doing the drawing. Now, I don't have a mechanical sharpener yet. I plan to get one in the future. So I actually sharpen with the manual sharpener. And we all know that can be quite time consuming. So as you see now, I'm applying the yellow around it in the most neatest manner that I can. So I try to color in the direction of the drawing itself because I really want it to flow, hence the reason why I do it the way that I do it. Now the reason why that I applied the eraser there is because I don't have the proper tools as yet in terms of uh, a shield for my hand. So when I pass my hand over some of the colors, it sort of smudges, hence the reason why I use the eraser there. Now one thing is that characters takes a lot of color. A portrait you only use a little bit of color because it is so much different layers it's so much different variety of colors that the most of a color you might use is hardly anything by the time you do a shade of light in a portrait you add in it in the dark pieces it's not even going to take much you don't even have to sharpen much when doing a portrait like this is the most I have ever had to sharpen a pencil ever I must say that doing this character takes a lot of color. So once you have that color pencils there, yeah, just know that it's it's gonna take a lot of color. And this is actually very monotone. It's not a lot of variety of colors. So I think that that's probably the reason why it took so much of the yellow. You should see the way that the yellow looks when this drawing was finished it was eaten away <laughs> but 
all in all, it's all part of the process and I genuinely enjoyed doing this drawing. So how this drawing came about is uh, my boyfriend made a suggestion that to try something outside of the box, do something that's different, just try something new. And at first I questioned it, I said, but doing characters are very simple, you know, it's not going to really show my skill set because the specialty that I have is in doing portraits. And I said, doing a character is not really going to challenge me. That's until I actually did it. <laughs> yes, that's until I actually did it. That was me just speaking, trying to avoid coming out of my comfort zone because we all know as persons, sometimes we are resistant to change and we're very comfortable in our own shoes. And I really didn't want to make myself look crazy doing this character. If I played the audio that came with this video, you all would be laughing because halfway in between it, I am just curling at myself. I am just saying, oh my goodness, this is looking disastrous. This is looking so horrible. This looks nothing like them. I was really beating myself down because while doing the change, I was resistant to it. I was really resistant to it. So I'm applying a little more eraser here because as I said before, the color smudged as my hand passes over. So if you all have any suggestions as to what I can use on my hand to avoid the color from smudging. So yes, as I was saying, I was really beating myself down. So <laughs> it was quite a challenge actually. Doing things simple might not be as simple as I thought that it would have been. So yes. So at this point in the drawing, I would have been drawing for about almost 20 minutes at this point. Yes. It really surprised me as to the length of time that it took for me to actually do this drawing. And it was rather shocking to me actually. So at this point, I already applied all the yellow, all the blue, and I'm just examining the drawing to make sure that it looks up to standard. And while throughout this tutorial voiceover, I really want to thank everyone who has still been watching this video to this point. I am actually having a drawing giveaway. For those who have reached this far, feel free to go on my Instagram. You have three more days, people. Three more days. So I'm basically adding in the dark part of the goggles. And I am using pen, black ink pen, to add in the various strands of hair. So the ones that have been tuning in thus far, I know it has been 13 whole minutes. I know it's long and only wondering what they're still doing here. But I thank you all for still being here. So as you see then I'm adding in some pen, black ink pen, to enhance the darkness. So you see that uh, I'm also now using pink to highlight the teeth and I'm using a black ink pen to color inside the mouth to add in the shadows. So while you're watching this stage, it's only when I do in this drawing I come to realize that Minion only have three fingers. Like I watched that entire movie I watched all the despicable me's and everything and it was so hilarious. And you know, it's only when I draw in this years later, then I realized that it have three fingers. <laughs> so now I am on the stage where I am adding in the shadow. Now it only take me this far in the drawing to realize that it had a shadow. I thought I was done. I was like, hooray, I finished. 
That is it. And then I realized that the shadow is still there to be added. So I'm using a mechanical pencil to add in the shadows in the drawing as part of the final phases of the art piece. So I'm playing this part at a regular speed because I want you to see the process that I do and for you to understand what's taking place. So in the future, I do intend to do tutorials in terms of shadowing and so forth. And uh, I look forward to doing that just for you. So as you can see that I'm adding in the shadows, I am coloring in one direction or more like shading in one direction. And the reason why that I recommend that you shade in the same direction is because you want uniformity. You don't want it to be varying in terms of the direction of the shading. Now a mistake that many persons may tend to make is that they want to do it in all different sorts of directions and it distorts the final product of the shading that you want. You want your shade to look realistic. You want it to really look like a shadow. And if you just shade in all random directions, it's not going to help. So what you're seeing here is that I took the silver color pencil and I added in a little bit of layer and we are at the end of the video. Wow, that was quite a while. So I thank you all for joining, for watching all the video. I know very few of you would actually watch it out to the end, but I thank you all for watching it out. Do not worry, the next video, it is not going to be this long. I assure you, I will figure out a way to make it shorter. Or if you want me to take my time even more, you are free to say, please like, share, and subscribe. I don't know if I said it in the right order. I think I will get me hung up this by the next tutorial video. And also don't worry, I will still be uploading time-lapse videos on this channel. But what I plan to do is that I will upload, sometimes I'll put the full time-lapse video with the music only on the YouTube channel. And then in the description, it would have like a link where you press and you go to my Facebook page to get the rest of the video in terms of me explaining. My goodness, this is what happens when you're living in Trinidad. The neighbor dog is barking. You know, whole day I'm doing a video and the dog is so quiet and now it's like it just wants to sing. This is the struggle of every YouTuber or whoever lives in the country. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not even going to edit this out, but again, I like to say thank you. And if you do hear the dog barking in the background, I apologize in advance. I will try the next time that I'm doing a voiceover to a tutorial video that it's peace and quiet. I will have to find some way in the house that I can record without my mother singing or the dog barking or the neighbor playing loud music. Oh, you're here in front of me. It is what it is. But thank you for joining me and feel free to like my Facebook page also. The link is in the description. And thank you all for joining in and have a wonderful day.